okay in this video i'm going to talk to you about actually open row set and open query and here it is actually how to use the open row set and open query i'm going to use the test database you can create any temp db if you would experiment it no problem at all just going to execute it and i am now actually the default actually the database that has been selected is temp db and again i can before actually creating a table actually i can check the object now here it is here is a table i am creating it as you can see why i am creating this table i will just show it to you why i have actually used this format because i want to actually insert the excel data and actually i have gone to the excel data and seen that what is the size of the field and i have given actually just approximate to judge the approximate length of this thing and actually i have created the table usually you should not judge the approximate length you should figure it out correctly what is the maximum length of the each field and then you can use and i have use always use varchar because varchar will actually suppress the characters it will not actually use the whole of the space it will only use the at much part is actually it has taken up if you use a char the char variable this thing char data type then what will happen is that the char will actually pad the rest to the space okay here is the excel data that we are going to use and this is what the excel sheet is as you can see the first field actually shows the this data and the second and the third and the fourth this is a numeric field this is actually and other are the character var char fields okay these are the four fields that i am going to get it written to the sql server table now that you have now you are should be very clear about what the data is now i have just created approximate length it is not maybe 100 it may not be 100 but just for the sake of that it doesn't get truncated or it doesn't give me an error okay i have just actually tried to do it like that now actually let's go and move it and do it here it is as i am saying i actually i am going to create a table here okay this actually creates a table and once the table is created if it is already exist it will give me an error it says already exist okay so i have to drop the table before actually i created the table so once again actually let's run the sql statement again with the sql code okay because the table exist and here we have dropped the table now i am going to actually execute the below query below this open row set it says insert into dbo import test that is the table we just created select from open row set then this is uh, actually the uh, microsoft net oral db and other thing excel database this is actually about the database where this file exist okay and this is the sheet name what sheet you want actually the data from coming to from the what sheet the data is coming from this is the excel sheet name and the other other things are actually the version of the excel and the what driver you are using here it is and let's actually go and execute the sequ this insert statement and we will see that the row some rows have been created it will show us and there you can see that it says 76 rows affected and let's go and actually use the this data this find out the tables whether this records have been inserted or it is just uh, okay as you can see you can see that all the rows have been inserted and now we have the data that is actually imported into the sql table from the excel okay this is how the open row set works now let's go to the another part of the this thing now suppose if you wanted to use the add link server actually i have already spoken to you about the link server in the one of the videos this is another one a smaller one now in this in the previous one it was the access in this one it is i am going to use the excel okay and here is the exactly the syntax it says execute as we add link server import data and other things as you can see the other things with are the same nearly the driver the file name the other things are null and the excel 8 okay just actually let's create an add a link server 
execute it hold on just a minute okay okay let me let me select the temp test database first and that and then i am going to actually add the link server i just selected the temp database test database sorry let's go and execute it and as you can see that the test database actually has been selected now actually i can go and add the link server and it should not give me an error this time okay what it says the server it already exist okay not a problem it have, i already created it that's why i saying it already exist okay and this is actually how you should actually add a link server i already actually added the link server already so it is not a there is no syntax error to this thing remember that thing this is actually already added so i'm just going to move it to the next line okay here it is i am going to truncate the table just actually i just created it in the previous this thing in the open row set i'm just going to remove all the rows truncate will not truncate table actually usually they say is not locked but you can have to check it out but some some people have the opinion that is locked the whenever you actually delete the truncate the table usually the sql server says it is not locked but let's find out what, what exactly what it does but this is actually truncate table will remove all the rows now here it says insert into a dbo import test select from the open query import data select this is exactly how you would be using it getting the data from over the when you are using a link server using an open query and if i use execute it will actually import the data into the it has already actually imported the data into the import table import test okay you can just actually we'll just go and actually run the sql and just see it here it is okay so i will just send it here now i have just shown to you how to use the open row set and the open query okay this is how you should use okay just remember that the this syntax has nothing to nothing wrong with it it already exists that's the only problem i did not i did not want to actually drop the link server okay so actually i just left it as it is otherwise this is perfectly okay don't worry about it okay i will just send it here